Good afternoon, everyone, and good morning for those who are in the US and good evening for those who are in Australia. Um, today, we're going to um, have you as guinea pigs. We will be testing a new podcast um, or a new um, uh, honors called podcasting. And uh, um, I'd like to uh, start sharing my screen now there we go can you all see my screen Dion is yes, okay we can, yes we can and secondly can you hear me okay yes we can because as we'll see in podcasting audio is extremely important therefore um we want to make sure that all these things work well so um if you have your uh worksheet you'll notice that there's uh, a few questions um, and items in there. And uh, a little trick uh, that I have for you is that uh, if you notice there on, on most of my slides, there will be a little green dot, usually on the right, with a number or a letter in there. Those are associated with the questions that this particular slide answers, all right? That helps you uh, to fill in the, the blank and to actually get uh, uh, through this course pretty easily. All right, so what is a podcast? In general, a podcast is very similar to a radio show, except that uh, you tend to watch this um, or listen to this by having subscribed to the show and listen to it often offline. So you don't need to be connected to the internet while you're listening uh, to the show. And the, uh, that gives you the advantage of being able to listen to it or watch it wherever you are. So you might be in a plane completely disconnected um, and you might still be able to uh, listen to the content. You're also able to pause, rewind, re-listen, or even sometimes listen to the podcast at twice the speed if you're super quick at catching the concepts that are talked. So, um, just a quick definition here um, in that uh, typically uh, podcasts are associated to audio shows while vodcasts are associated to video shows. Although nowadays people don't really use vodcast very often in terminology. So we'll call a podcast both audio or video. Now a little quiz for you all. Um, um, what are the advantages or disadvantages of live versus on demand? So um, how, how can you see that as different? So live, for example, if I turn on the radio right now, I'll hear whatever is happening. Uh, while on demand audio allows me to listen to things whenever I want. So, so I want to throw that to you guys. Um, what do you see is the biggest difference between live content? So it can be a live radio show, it can be a live TV show, or it can even be a live stream of a church service somewhere, right? Um, what's the difference between live and on demand? Oh, Diane, you're muted. Uh, okay, the answer started coming in straight away. So it says on, uh, uh, okay, on uh, when something is live, you cannot choose uh, yeah. and you can also miss. Uh, things that happen. Um, uh, so that is coming from one of our participants. Uh, another one is saying, um, another one is saying that uh, on the on the on demand, I can choose exactly the content I want to listen or watch. All that, right. Uh, well, these are two comments I have at the moment. Perfect. And those are two those two biggest arguments really for why podcasting works so well, in that you get to choose. Uh, what you want to listen to or watch and when you want to listen to uh, and you can even rewind uh, if you've uh, if you've not caught something quite well you can that's exactly what you came through just now yeah Someone says the best part is you can rewind things that you missed absolutely so for a live show the only thing you can pretty much do is stop or start it you can turn off your radio or turn it turn it on kind of thing but for an on-demand content, uh, so it's similar to, to, to video, right? Like a Netflix video show, you can rewind forward and, uh, and do all these things, which is a lot of fun. And you can also share. 
And, but the coolest thing is that if you produce something today, someone two years, five years down the road can, can discover it and, and go through the material then and make an impact on their lives way back then. So the, the potential for evangelism and for sharing the good news is amazing with podcasting. So there are different types um, of podcasts, and I like to, to um, highlight them as four main types. One is non-fictional narrative storytelling, and some of our examples uh, in, um, in our church is Your Story Hour, uh, or a lot of our Gracelink podcasts. These are Sabbath School lesson podcasts, right? Um, then we've got uh, repurposed content. This is uh, content that has been created many, many years ago, and then it gets repurposed into a podcast. So uh, NPR, a radio station in the U.S., uh, does that quite well with um, a, a show called TED Radio Hour. Uh, another example for our own church is the uh, most of the books of Ellen White have been rewritten uh, in a new form called The Conflict Beautiful. And they render a podcast that is very easy to understand um, for a millennial audience or uh, even a teen audience today without using the words vowels in the complex English. Um, all right, so that might be an interesting podcast for you to listen to. And it also puts in, in perspective some of the writings of Ellen White. Uh, why is it that she wrote uh, specifically for this topic at that time? Uh, so a very interesting podcast for you to start listening to. And a third style of podcast is an interview or panel discussion. And you see this um, with Sabbath School U. Um, this is a show from Hope Channel. And it is a panel discussion of the Sabbath school class. Um, so that's an example of, of interview versus, and uh, panel discussions. And the, and the fourth kind is a hybrid, which is often a mix of all of these first three um, together. And that, um, that can start with a monologue or, or a narrative or a storytelling part, which it then adds into a panel discussion later on. Right, so these are four kinds, four the major kinds of uh, podcasts out there. Next, uh, let's look at styles a little bit. So, uh, audiobooks are one of the most popular podcasts, and these appeal sp especially to what I call micro tedious people, uh, or um, in an easier uh, way, it's it's like busy people who want to do many things at one time. So they might be exercising while they want to read a book but they can't quite do that, especially if you're riding a bike, as an example. If you're riding a bike, you cannot read a book at the same time. So you can listen to the book while riding a bike. So you can uh, maximize your time during the day in doing more things uh, than once at a time. Next, we've got um, analyst podcasts. And this, these uh, are very popular with... Um, it's like a news uh, show or it can be uh, economics show, you know, talking about the stock market going up and down. And uh, um, that's another style. The uh, style that is more relaxed would be like a music commentary style where they would uh, talk about a music clip that came out and they would also uh, play a little piece of it. And uh, uh, so it's more of a light entertaining side rather than educational side. Um, some of the podcasts are also conversational, so it's a dialogue with more than one person talking. Um, others are dramas that are, that are reenacted for radio. The BBC is very good at doing those. And uh, my, another of my favorite kinds of podcasts are educational podcasts. So, for example, University of Oxford puts most of its courses as podcasts. So you can listen to a course. You can you can cover the whole material uh, that is taught to uh, about uh, a neuroscience, for example. Uh, you just don't get the degree, but you get the knowledge by listening to podcasts. So it's a fantastic way of expanding your knowledge. Um, a more specific area uh, in education is medical um, talks. 
So Luma Linda runs a very nice podcast on this, uh, but also Adventist Health, which is a, uh, a coordination of multiple hospitals in the US. Their podcast is called Living Well, and uh, it is a weekly show talking about uh, the best practices for uh, us to live well, as the title says. Uh, another um, podcast style that I also uh, like is uh, city guides or city tours. So if you were to go to London and you wanted to have a very experienced city guide walking you through London and explaining to you the different streets and the different uh, historical aspects that happen here and there, uh, the Guardian newspaper creates a very nice podcast called London Walks. And it tells you, for example, uh, go to um, uh, Westminster Abbey and then play the next episode. Once you get to there, you can press next on your podcast player on your phone, and then it'll describe to you what Westminster Abbey is and so on and so forth. They do this for cities. They also do this for museums. So London, uh, the British Museum has a podcast that, that hosts this. Uh, and they also have uh, podcasts that are about objects rather than about, uh, about the physical location. Again, the British Museum uh, is one that pioneered this whole concept. Another one uh, that is, again, educational is learning a language. So you, are, uh, you have podcasts where um, every day an episode will come out teaching you a couple of words in a new language. And um, so with, uh, with spending a little bit of time every day on that podcast, you're able to learn uh, a new language and, again, expand your horizon of, uh, of education. Very nice when you're bored. Possibly, Dian, um, we ought to down, each download the, the, the Scottish language podcast. Uh, so next year, when we are at uh, our campery, we would be very um, popular with the locals there, right? That's right. That, that's an excellent idea. <laughs> All right. So moving away now from, from the styles of podcasts, let's actually get into the nitty gritty of how to listen to a podcast. So podcasts um, are arranged into categories. And the, the main way for it to work is that you search for a topic. You might not know the title of the producer of that podcast. You search for a topic like I'm interested in photography. So I can search for photography and uh, it'll show me a whole bunch of, um, of photographers, famous photographers or, or, or even classes that teach photography. And the beautiful thing about podcasts is that it's free. Right, it is free to to search for the podcast, to subscribe to it, and then to receive the content, um, uh, however often they produce it. So let's say, for example, I'm interested in um, in photography. I will search for a podcast about photography, subscribe to it, and once I'm subscribed, every day or every uh, week or every month, whenever that podcast comes out, I get a free delivery of that audio file or the video file that I can listen to whenever I want, wherever I am, without even having internet connectivity, as long as you've downloaded it while you have internet connectivity, of course. So um, podcasts are arranged in this structure. So um, episodes are what comes out daily or weekly, and then this is tied to a series, and this is typically what you search. And in some cases, series are on, under a, a bigger section called a season. Not most podcasts don't use a season structure. They use a se uh, the, yeah, they don't use a season structure. They use series and episodes. So, what we're going to do now is uh, I'm going to share. I'm going to show you my screen as I search for a podcast and um, as I discover. Um, you know, a, a podcast based on a topic. So um, first of all, what I want to sh uh, show you here is that uh, there are many ways of listening to podcasts on your portable devices. Now, if you have uh, an Apple device, like an iPhone or an iPad, um, the app called Apple Podcast is usually already installed on your phone. 
if you have an Android device, my suggestion would be uh, to download the free app called Google Podcasts. But there's quite a few others. Spotify has their own. Uh, actually, if you have a smartphone, uh, a smart speaker at home like Amazon Alexa, they also it also has a podcast engine in it. All right. So let's switch over to my screen on my phone here, and I'll show you how I'm going to go and look for a podcast. By the way, just as a, a little uh, interest here. Uh, the first person that gives me uh, an interesting topic, I'm going to search that particular topic and find a podcast. So uh, here we go. It's open. Um, the first topic, uh, interesting topic that I see pop up here, Deanne, uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, look for a podcast about that topic. Okay. Um, yeah, Daryl, I'm waiting here for yeah. any messages dan has just popped out for a short while or, or we can uh, we can look for the topic of of stars and astronomy the first uh, uh course we went through um yeah sure if everyone's okay with that yeah all right so uh i'm going to go ahead and share my uh phone screen here and uh There we go. Um, can you all see my phone, my phone screen? Yes, we can yep. see it. Perfect, excellent. So the app that I'm going to launch is this one over here called Podcast. Okay, so as I launch it, I uh, have a few podcasts that I'm already subscribed to, but what I'm gonna do is click on the search button at the bottom left, right corner of the screen and uh, type astronomy. So here I search by topic. I don't really need to know who the producers are. I'm just gonna search by, for the term astronomy and it's going to show me a whole bunch of podcasts about astronomy. So there is uh, this first one here, Astronomy Cast. Uh, well, the graphics doesn't look that appealing to me, so I'm not gonna jump to it. But um, the second one um, here is called Introduction to the Solar System Astronomy, and it is provided by Ohio State University. So right away, I, I can as, uh, assume that this is going to be quite a scientific production and also one that uh, is, uh, is most likely taught by a, a professor in astronomy. Uh, so if I click on it, um, there it is. It's actually the, uh, a course uh, at that university uh, that spans two quarters. And it's, it's um, uh, Astronomy 161 or Astronomy 141. And there are quite a lot of episodes that are tied here. And uh, just answering that question about the amount of planets that we have. Do you see this one podcast over here? Um, lecture number 45 is, is Pluto a planet? Um, and this has gone back and forth among the scientists. Uh, but the interesting thing that I can do here is I can... 2006, November 30th. Today is lecture to 45. It. Is Pluto a planet? We'll begin in just a moment. And uh, I can stop it. And notice that I like play Hi. this podcast. Well, you know, we've, we've, we've now got lecture 45 here. At the bottom left of my screen, do you see the one X button here? If I click on that, I can get the podcast or the lesson to play at twice the speed. So we're, we're, we're like, we got this one, yeah. uh, you come through a lot of material in this class, and now it's time to, to take hours. Oh, I can play it at the half the speed. Two lectures the class. So it all depends on how fast you can assimilate uh, the information there. And you're able to listen to a class taught by a university without ever paying the fees uh, and at any time that you want of the day. Now this, this topic, might, this presentation on astronomy might be a little bit too advanced. So um, let's see if there is something else uh, that might be a little bit more fun for kids. I would, um, that's an, uh, the Astronomy 141 at the bottom there. That's another university course. Um, 
Okay, this one from Twist. Uh, this one is an astronomy uh, talk that uh, looks about what's happening in the news in uh, space. Um, so this will obviously talk about the launch uh, of uh, Elon Musk's uh, SpaceX and those kinds of things. Um, space nuts sounds like another interesting one. Um, so you can see uh, that here we have access to quite a lot of, of information about astronomy from very advanced university courses to things that are a little bit uh, more fun, um, like uh, maybe this radio astronomy from the BBC uh, show here. All right, so that's uh, a quick view of um, just searching for the term astronomy. Now let's go search for the term Adventist and see what pops up. So if I was to search Adventist, uh, there is quite a lot that comes up. And uh, this particular one is quite interesting. Uh, the Adventist History Podcast. And what it does is that it talks to you about uh, different things that happened throughout the early history of our church and puts it in, uh, presents it in a light of today, uh, which is quite a lot of fun to listen to. Um, this one here, Adventist Mission, uh, is an audio and a video one. And what it does is that it talks about all the mission stories that have come up and it puts it into a podcast that you can listen to or that you can watch. Here you see a lot of podcasts from Adventist World Radio in quite a lot of different languages. And here at the bottom right corner here, you see Brixton Seventh-day Adventist Church. This is most likely their Sabbath sermon that shows up as a podcast that you can listen to. Um, another one that might be interesting uh, is uh, the Holloway Church, bottom right corner here, um, is most likely their Sabbath uh, service. Okay, uh, top left corner, Adventist Millennial. Uh, this is a conversation uh, between Adventist young adults um, about topics at hand. So what we just looked at here are, are searching directly on uh, a phone for uh, different kinds of podcasts. Now let's go back to the uh, slideshow. And for this purpose, we've used uh, the Apple TV podcast. Now, there's a couple of uh, uh, other podcasts that would possibly interest uh, your age group, right, as, as uh, young adults and uh, teens. So one um, is a story or two are story podcasts your story hour and discovery mountain and they are um, fun stories that can be listened to as a podcast and let me go ahead sorry i'll go i'll share another screen here and show you how those podcasts work okay so obviously you can come uh, search for those on your mobile device but uh discovery mountain uh, is produced by Voice of Prophecy, and it is a story about kids in uh, a campsite. And uh, so if you click on listen, uh, you have multiple seasons. Um, remember we talked about uh, broadcast seasons and then a series and then episodes. And um, they've, uh, they are already at season uh, 13. So you'll probably want to start from season one. Um, and you're able to play from the website here, but you're able to subscribe to it on your phone and listen to it whenever you want. So that's one of my, my favorite kids uh, podcasts. The other one that is uh, pretty cool as well um, is uh, uh, Gracelink. Now Gracelink has a podcast for uh, your Sabbath school lesson. 
So rather than listening or rather than needing to, to read your Sabu School lesson, you're able to subscribe to it and listen to it in your own language. And you just need to select which language, which age group you're at and, uh, and you're able to listen to the podcast. The podcast is, uh, has many versions. Okay. Um, let's look at the primary lesson. For example, you can have, you can have the Sabu School lesson as a cartoon animation or just as an audio. And you have it in multiple languages as well. So there's a French version, there's a Chinese version, and, uh, and so on. Um, another podcast uh, that is um, interesting is one that we produce at, at Dennis Review, and it's called Grace Notes. It is a devotional pod podcast that, show, that comes out every Friday um, to be listened to. It's a very short one. It's about two, two minutes or so. Uh, but outside, outside uh, Adventist podcasts, let me show you a couple of other podcasts that my kids find fun. Um, this one is called Brains On, and it's all about, and it comes out once every week. So there's one new episode every week, and it goes and to talk about how things work. All right. So, uh, so by going to the website here, you can go directly to the Apple podcast subsection, or if you are on Android, it'll be on Google Podcast and listen to those shows that way. Uh, another one that's fun is Kids News. Kids News takes, uh, it's once every day pretty much, it takes today's show, uh, today's news, and, tw and twists it in a way for uh, a younger audience to be able to understand what's going on in the world and, uh, and portrays it as an audio and video podcast. So that, um, that was it for how, um, as a listener, we're able to listen to those different podcasts. Now let's change gear a little bit and see how, to, how we would produce a podcast. How do we create an audio podcast uh, for it to be listened to uh, by anyone, anywhere, at their own convenient time? So um, there are a few different stages to make this work. First of all, you will want to record the podcast. Then you would edit the podcast uh, in an audio editing suite. You would convert it, you would compress the audio to an MP3 file format, upload it to a hosting site, often called an aggregator of podcast, and make it available for your subscriber or your listener to be able to download the podcast and listen to it in their own convenient time. So um, in the process of compressing the audio file um, and uploading it, we uh, also create what's called an RSS. Uh, that stands for Real Simple Syndica Syndication. And what that does is that it's like it creates an address book entry uh, for the aggregators or the search engine of podcasts out there to easily find your podcast. So, so initially when podcasting first started, this had to be done manually. And there was a little bit of code involved in, in creating this. Well, nowadays with, with the automated aggregators out there, this is done automatically. So I'm going to show you how to, to create those automatically for your uh, own sake. Next, uh, as we create the podcast, we also need to tag it. Tagging it is similar to putting your name on your suitcase before you travel. So you can easily find it when you get to your destination, right? So in podcasting, the concept or the term is called metadata tagging the files. So we'll get into that a little bit later on as we get into the, uh, the, the production aspect of it. So there are four steps to producing and publishing a podcast. The first one is recording. The second one is editing. The third one is uploading it to an aggregator. And the fourth one is uh, once it's publicized to look at the statistics of those podcasts and to adjust your production routine. So first of all, to record, you primarily need a good sounding microphone. 
Now there's quite a lot of different kinds of microphones out there and it's important to choose the right microphone for your environment. Naturally, you'll want to record uh, your podcast in a pretty quiet environment unless you intentionally are doing a, a show on the road and then you, you want to pick up some of the noise uh, of, of the outside or you're wanting to feature maybe birds, then you want to use different kinds of mics for this. But when, as you choose microphone, um, one aspect of the microphone that you need to think about is the pickup pattern of your microphone. This is very similar to light. Just like a candle lights all around it, uh, a microphone that, that picks up sound from all around is called an omnidirectional microphone. Um, a light um, that is focused using a flashlight uh, rather than a candle focuses the light just to where you're pointing it. Um, so equivalent to that, uh, the microphones that, that only pick up in a certain direction is called a cardioid, a cardioid microphone, or sometimes a super or hypercardioid. And a laser that focuses the light just in one dot we would consider those as hypercardioid microphones or shotgun microphones. And they pick up in a very specific angle um, your audio um, file. So once you've figured out uh, what kind of microphone pickup pattern you want, then you have other fac uh, factors that you need to consider, the sensitivity of the mic, the kind of connection that you, you're gonna have and the, the budget that you have to buy those kinds of mics. So let's look at a couple of mics out there and uh, which ones would be better for different um, budgets and also uh, quality. So the, um, the mic that I particularly like for podcasting, especially if it's just one person talking and if you don't need um, and to be doing an interview, and you have a pretty quiet environment, is the one that you see in the middle there called the Rode NT-USB mic. They have a regular version and a mini version. So it's between 120 pounds to 150 pounds for that kind of microphone. Then you can go to very expensive mics um, that often the, the um, pop singers would use. Uh, like a Neumann microphone that starts at 900 pounds and goes up from there. All right. So if, however, you need to record a podcast that, um, um, that uh, needs to have a, a long distance from your device to, to where the person is speaking, you might want to use your, your, your smartphone actually to record a, pod, a podcast like that. Um, you can use the Rode Wireless Go mic, the one that's shown on the top right corner there of your screen. And that's not that expensive. It's about 160 pounds or $200. And that works wonders. Now, let me show you how that mic uh, looks like here. Um, so uh, the Rode Wireless mic um, looks like this. There is a, a side to it that is a transmit, uh, that is the microphone itself. You see the tip of the microphone in here. Um, that clips to the person that needs to talk. Okay, I can clip it uh, to my uh, right here. And then the other module, that's the receiving end. The receiving end has a cable that comes out of it uh, that I would plug and the other end plugs into my phone. So I can record from a long distance, a person that I'm interviewing maybe uh, from my phone, I can capture the video and the audio of it simply by using um, a wireless microphone like this that is very, very inexpensive for this purpose. If you want to uh, record audio and uh, video at the same time, one uh, tool that you can uh, use is um, made by a company called Marantz, and it is called the Marantz Turret. And uh, it has both a camera and a very good microphone on it. 
and it's fantastic for recording um, a, a video show, so a vodcast uh, or a video blog. And uh, also it works fantastic with a built-in microphone to pick up a good audio from the person and uh, so on. So at the price that this uh, unit is, so under $300, on the 260 pounds, you get both a, a very good uh, high resolution camera plus a light and a very good microphone. And all of that plugs in via USB then to your computer for you to record using uh, the computer software. So um, that's a little uh, uh, intro to um, to a microphone and camera that you can use all at once. Now, uh, if you need, however, to record more than one person at a time, then you'll need to invest possibly in a little uh, audio mixer that uh, will then pick up multiple microphones at the same time and do a conversational podcast. So they range from as cheap as about 110 pounds, $150 from that bearing a micro, uh, mixer to something very specifically designed for podcasting called the Rodecaster Pro. And um, you can load up to eight different special effects to this and also have four external mics tied to it. And uh, you can use that as only a single person podcast uh, solution or a multi-podcast solution like uh, this uh, table here, where there's four directional microphones that pick up the conversation of these four people and uh, change, uh, converts it and produces it into a podcast. If you're going to be doing multiple video clips uh, as a vodcast, then uh, a group, good price point uh, entry level uh, video mixer would be the Blackmagic Atom unit at 600 pounds uh, or the Roland V8 uh, video mixer at 1400 pounds. As you can see, as soon as you move into multi-channel video, the prices go up uh, quite a bit there. And that hasn't even factored the fact that we haven't uh, considered cameras that will go with this. But today we're concentrating primarily about audio podcasts. So we'll spend our time that way. As far as audio editing, once you have recorded and captured your audio, you'll want to use either a free software like Audacity uh, to edit your audio clips or uh, Adobe Audition, um, or there's other, other tools um, like Pro Tools as an audio editing suite. And what you then do in those tools is that you uh, clean up the audio, you cut the section that you need, and you produce that as a podcast. So I'm going to now uh, show you how I do all of that in Adobe Audition. So this is my audio file here. Uh, whoops, let me share this slightly differently so you can hear my audio correctly. There you go. So this is uh, a preparation for a podcast uh, called Grace Notes that Advanced Review publishes every week. So as I uh, have recorded the voice here, uh, and by the way, to record, once you have your mic plugged in via USB, uh, you basically just hit the record button over here. And uh, let's actually try this right now. If I hit the record button, um, you will notice uh, whoops, just a second. That, uh, let's, let me just start a new project here, a new audio file. Um, yeah, that's fine. And uh, I need to configure uh, my recording to pick up the right uh, uh, microphone. I have a few on my computer here. So we'll have it set to default. Yeah, that's fine. And if I click on record, notice that as I speak, my voice shows up in those waveforms. And now I'm going to stop. And if I go back and play this bit, if I click on record, notice that as I speak, my voice shows up in those waveforms. And now 
notice that over here there's been a little bit of noise uh, that happened in the recording. So as I play this, I speak my what I can do in the editing suite is I can select what I don't want to show up in the podcast like this. I just hit delete and now that section is completely gone. Now I can clean up the beginning. I can clean up the end as well uh, and just keep what I need for the podcast. Notice that as I speak, my voice shows up in those waveforms and now so I don't, let's say that I don't need this bit. I'll delete it. And I only will pick up this. My voice shows up in those waveforms and now I'm going to stop. I'm going to delete that bit as well. And we'll only use this as our uh, pretend podcast. So as I build the podcast, I now create a multi-track and we'll call it uh, Pathfinder Podcast. And now I, I, have mul I have a lot of different tracks where I can load at the same time. So my voice, I can drag over here. And then, uh, whoops, there's one thing I forgot to do with my voice. Notice that my volume is not at the maximum here. So I can basically bring up my voice so it sounds much more present. Shows up in those waveforms. Now that it is more present, I can, um, I need to save this as my voice. All right. So now if I go to the multi-track clip, I can now start adding music to this um, uh, podcast. So I've got a 30 second jingle here that I'm going to bring in. And um, let's say, we, let's just listen to this music and see how it sounds. Okay, now I can position my voice anywhere in this music. Maybe I'll put it right here. And now let's listen to how it sounds from the beginning now. My voice shows up in those waveforms. All right, so... Um, who can identify to me what the problem is if I was to use the volume of my voice as it is and the volume of the music as it is? All right, anyone? Uh, what do you think of, okay, could you hear me well with the, with the music in the background like this? Yep, we just uh, asked uh, everybody to give us a comment on that and uh, we're waiting for the replies. Okay, so they're saying the music is too loud. Exactly, uh, the music is too loud. Yeah, so what I need to do is fix this so the music is uh, down in volume while I speak. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just zoom in to just this section here where I'm speaking. And with this line here, I can draw the volume that I want uh, for the sound at this moment. So I'm going to bring down the volume. Uh, and then it's going to go back up at the end of my conversation of my voice here. So let's play this section and see how it sounds now. My voice shows up in those waveforms. So what do you think now? Do you think it's better? Right, so the comments are coming slowly in and let's have a look. Uh, yeah, people are saying it's much better. It is much better. Exactly. So um, what you're able to do is, uh, is use your, your audio editing suite like this in creating a podcast. So I'm going to put my son here on the spot because he's sitting in the corner and I'm going to ask him to tell me his name. I'm going to record that bit and pretend that I'm assembling this into the podcast. So what that illustrates is that we're able to create a podcast in an asynchronous way, meaning that you can record the first bit of it and then later on add another, an, an interview of another person and bring it all together. So Noah, come over here. This is Noah, my son. 
and I'm going to ask you, Noah, to say pretty loudly, hello, my name is Noah. Just, just that, and and maybe your the class that you go, the class, your, your school name, okay? All right, very good. So what I'm going to do now is go back to my waveform view. Oh, you might want to see what I'm doing. Uh, so let us go ahead and screen here. Now I'm going to create a new audio file, a new audio file, and it's going to be, we're going to call it Noah, N-O-A-H. All right, it's all blank, and I'm going to start recording now. So Noah, go ahead, uh, pretty loudly, your turn. Hello, my name is Noah. Where do you go to school, Noah? I go to school in Binfield. Louder, louder. I go to school in Binfield. Thank you, Noah. How old are you? Eleven. Eleven what? Eleven years old. Thank you. All right, so I've recorded him here, but I'm not very happy with the volume and I don't need my voice. I only need his voice to speak. So we're going to go and shuffle around here and uh, get just his voice. Uh, whoops, I just need to share my screen differently so you hear the sound better. There we go. Your turn. Hello, my name is Noah. All right, I don't need this whole section at all. That was me talking. It's speaking, Noah. Speaking. Where do you go to school, Noah? I go to school in Binfield. Louder, louder. I go to school in Binfield. Okay, I don't need my section here and when he's too low. Where do you go to school? Uh, so I'm going to delete that bit. Louder, louder. I go to This is when he was louder, so I'll delete that bit as well. I go to school in Binfield. Thank you, Noah. And we only need that bit. So the beginning bit here is a little bit low in volume. So I'm going to boost that. I'm just going to bring up the volume here. And then uh, that bit here, let's bring up the, that volume as well. Whoops, not too much. And the end as well. All right, so that's the editing process. Now let's listen to it now. Hello, my name is Noah. I go to school in Binfield. Thank you, Noah. How old are you? Uh, that's the only bit I need, really. Okay, now that I have edited this uh, audio file, I can go back, uh, and this is, guys, a very quick crash course on how to use Adobe Audition or an audio editing suite. There's a lot of tutorials online for this. So uh, as I go back to this, what I'm going to do is bring in the NOAA section here. Let's zoom out a little bit. Uh, and have a little piece of music play and then have him talk again. So notice that I can move, I can move his voice everywhere, anywhere. I can have him talk while I'm talking. So let's listen to that bit. Obviously it will sound like a cacophony, but just to, as an illustration. My voice Hello, my shows us Noah. in those waveforms. I go to school in Binfield. All right, so I'm gonna move it over here. And uh, I'll do the same thing with the volume. As he starts speaking, I'm going to bring down the volume and it'll go back up when it is done. So let's look at this whole, let's listen to all of this now. My voice shows up in those waveforms. Hello, my name is Noah. I go to school in Binfield. Right, so that is pretty much how to assemble a podcast. Now, I probably forgot to say uh, good morning and welcome to my show today. So let me go out now and record another audio clip. Uh, we'll call it the welcome section. Good morning and welcome to another episode of Pathfinders in the World. Okay, so that's going to be my intro. And I'll just clean it up a little bit, bring up the volume, and we are going to save it and go back to the multi-session section here. And uh, where is it? Welcome. Welcome's gonna go right at the beginning. 
and the volume needs to be down for this. Actually, I can do is, well, you get the idea. Let me just play it. Uh, I need to bring down the volume and let's listen to it now. Good morning and welcome to another episode of Pathfinders in the World. My voice shows up in those waveforms. Hello, my name is Noah. I go to school in Binfield. Naturally, this we've made it pretty short, but you'll want your podcast to be uh, a decent amount of length to deal with the topic that you want to do today. Now, the process that we need to do now is uh, to save uh, the file. So let me share my full entire screen and then show you how that works. Now I will click on file, same for Mac or PC, doesn't matter. And then save, oops, one thing I need to do is mix all of that into one single WAV file. So I, by right clicking and saying uh, mix down to a new file, I'll click on, on mix down the whole session, and now I've got a mixed version of Good Morning and welcome to another episode of Pathfinders in the World. My voice shows up in those waveforms. Hello, my name is Noah. Okay, now let's save that file. Um, and we'll give it a name. We'll call it uh, Pathfinder Podcast Mixed Down. That's fine. Yeah, that's a good name for it. Um, and notice that the file size is going to be 11 megabytes. Okay, for just uh, an 18 second clip, that's a big file. Now, what we need to do is compress the file, make it smaller so it's easier for people to download on their mobile device. Uh, so 11 megabytes for, a one, uh, for uh, an 18 minute uh, file, uh, I mean 18 second file is okay, but imagine if you, your podcast was one hour long. A one hour long file would make a 650 megabyte file. That's, that'll take a while for people to download it on their mobile device. So you, know, you want to compress the file into what's called an MP3 file. So I'll go to File and Save As, and instead of a WAV file, I'll, I'll choose an MP3 file. And notice that over here, uh, the WAV file was uh, 11 megs, but if I compress it to MP3, the WAV file goes down to less than one meg. And I can set the settings uh, if it's going to be stereo and so on. And if I click on OK, now my file is saved. All right, so back to the, back to the PowerPoint um, aspect. When you create a podcast, it's very important to use um, music that is copyright free uh, because you're going to publish that your audio, your podcast um, for free publicly. People who have created music um, expect a royalty to be paid to them and you can get into a lot of legal problem when you use music that is um, uh, copyrighted. So if you happen to uh, buy music um, or even use a CD of music and expect this to work in your podcast, you're going to get a lot of legal problems. So you need to find what's called public domain or creative commons type of music for your podcasts. These are a list of a couple of sources where you can get free music to use in your podcast. I like to use the company CC Mixter um, right here for music, but there's plenty of others and you have access to this presentation so you can search for those kinds of music. Um, there are a lot of myths about, about copyrights and music that you need to be aware of and these are all non -tru not true. 
by saying I can use any music if I'm not making money from it. That is not true. Uh, it's okay if I play less than 10 seconds of it. That is not true. As long as I provide, uh, whoops, as long as I provide attribution, basically saying who it is who made this music, I'm okay. That is not true. Um, I can use any music under fair use. Well, that is, that is partly true. Best not to use it. And if I just say in my podcast, no copyright infringement intended, uh, that will clear me. That is not true. Um, and so the one that I hear the most actually uh, in, in our Adventist world is, well, it's for the Lord's work. So I'm, I, I should be able to use it. That is also not true. So um, based on this list, please use music from this site or compose your own music um, and perform your own music. That would work best. Now, you remember uh, in Adobe Audition, the last thing we did was to compress uh, an, uh, an audio file into MP3. The reason for this, as I explained back then, and I'll re-explain a little bit more now, is that you don't want a file that is too big for people to download, especially if they are on a pay-as-you-go contract on their cell phone and on, on a 3G or 4G. You'll want uh, to be able to tighten the file in a way that it is small enough for them to download the audio file quickly and yet not to degrade the audio quality. So my recommendation is to record your file and compress it in MP3 in 44.1 kilohertz, joint stereo, 192 kilobit per second. That will make a one hour file about the size of 10, of 10 megabytes, which is easy to download. And the audio quality will still be pretty good and uh, people won't notice that it has been degraded by compression. So once you've created your audio file, then you want to use one of these many aggregators to post your podcast. Um, the two that are my favorite are Buzzsprout and po Podbean. They do have a free option where you can post, post podcasts uh, for free, as long as your podcasts are not longer than I think 30 minutes and not more than one a day kind of thing. The advantage to using uh, these aggregators to put publish your podcast is that it then shows up in a lot of many of the popular podcast cons uh, consuming platforms out there, like uh, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, TuneIn, Spotify, Spotify, and it'll also be compatible to, uh, to smart speakers like Alexa. All right, so um, let me quickly show you, I've got less than five minutes here to show you how the Podbean interface works and how to post a podcast there. All right, let's go to uh, my browser here. And we're going to go to Podbean. Um, Podbean is an aggregator of podcasts that then autom automatically pushes your, your podcast out to multiple platforms. So here, uh, if, I, if I need to create uh, a podcast, it'll be a new podcast channel. Uh, once I've created um, a podcast, uh, I can then add an episode by just clicking on new episode. And, um, whoops, yes, I do need to log in. And here I can upload a file. I can upload or drag and drop an audio file. Um, and we can, for example, select the file that I just uh, uh, did, upload it in here. And uh, um, once it's uploaded, I'll have the option of pushing publish, which then posts it as a podcast. So let me show you one that was posted uh, just Thursday last week. Um, and it is this Grace Note podcast by Advanced Review. And uh, I have a text description of it here. Um, plus I have the audio file that is loaded. Once uh, this is generated, it automatically pushes it to the most popular podcast aggregators like iTunes. Um, and if I want to, sh to see briefly 
uh, it also gives me statistics of how many people are listening to those podcasts and how many people download them and what some people are saying about this podcast. All right. So this is a pretty cool, cool uh, way of generating a podcast. Furthermore, Podbean allows you to create a web page interface for your podcast. So you get to choose these themes uh, and that will then uh, give you a nice view to your podcast. So um, for example, let me just show you, um, these ones are all con conf configurable by the way. So if I was to choose the fitness one, um, it will look like this, but I can change the picture. I can change a whole bunch of things on how it ends up looking uh, like. So the Grace Note uh, podcast ends up looking like uh, this as a person goes to the website. But again, podcasts are primarily designed for mobile devices and not so much uh, web pages. But Podbean allows me to uh, also render a, a website um, out of the whole package. So that is how you want to publish your podcast. Uh, as I said um, earlier, there's four steps to the podcasting, the recording, the editing, the uploading, and the statistics. Now, uh, Podbean does offer you a built-in statistics engine. And with the statistics, you're able to see, you know, how many people from different countries are subscribing uh, to your content. And that allows you to be able to craft your podcast specifically for the audiences that are listening to you. So that's the end of my presentation. Again, as a, as a brief, you record your podcast, you edit it in an audio or video editing suite, you compress it in, um, uh, in a smaller file, you upload it to a host, and that makes your podcast accessible to the whole world. That is my presentation for today, and I am open for questions. I see a couple of hands raised. Thank you so much, Daryl, for that. Uh, also, just a question uh, of our, our path funders. How do they complete the honor? What is the ultimate goal of this honor for our path funders? So as, uh, as stated in the, in the curriculum, um, you want to be able to define certain terms, right? then you want to be able to, well, let me just share this screen here. Um, it might be a little bit tiny, uh, but uh, yeah, you'll want to be able to define a certain terms. You want to be able to demonstrate your familiarity with some of the hardware used. You want to demonstrate your proficiency in using audio editing suite. Um, and you want to be pu publishing a podcast. Yeah, so um, you want to uh, show that you're able to publish a podcast and share that podcast with your friends. Now, that, what that means is that you'll need to be recording um, a podcast, editing it, and then pushing it up to an aggregator like Podbean um, and, uh, and have it published online. So uh, on top of this, you might want uh, your, the requirement also asks you to uh, share with a group uh, how podcasting can help in evangelism and nurture. So in, in uh, nurture, for example, the Saddle School podcast is a very good podcast that demonstrates how, how we can nurture our church by using a podcast like that. Um, You'll want to, number six, share with a group your favorite podcasts. I would recommend that you'd share at least two Christian, two Adventist podcasts, and two secular podcasts, like a news podcast or BBC podcast or so. And uh, what I think is very interesting and very cool is to show a person, especially a person that might be uh, not tech savvy, how to subscribe to a podcast on their device. Uh, maybe uh, a, re a person that's retired or so uh, to share with them how they can listen to the Sabbath School lesson as a podcast. Excellent. Daryl, thank you so much for summarizing that. We're going we're gonna to stop here for now, if that's right. We're going to just say thank you. And those who want to stay, they can stay for questions and answer session. 
Uh, so for everybody, uh, I'm gonna just uh, go into gallery mode. Uh, let's just be, give a big clap to Daryl. Uh, if that's okay, guys, I'm gonna unmute everybody. Allow uh, participants. Thank you so much, Daryl, for this. Thank you. 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 Thank you.